Hi, I'm Todd. And I'm his daughter, Victoria. And welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be making for you another family recipe. Oh yeah, my Sicilian grandmother's famous meat stuffing. Oh, it's so good. True it, comfort food. It really is. Especially for the fall. Yeah, it goes really well with any fall or winter dish. Really. It really does. Mm, mm. So good. So <laughs> should we show them how it's done? Let's do it. All right. Okay, so to get started, we're going to use some ground sausage, our star um, ingredient for our stuffing. And we're going to start with some olive oil in our pan. And so we're just going to sprinkle some of that in there. Not too much, but just enough so that the stuffing doesn't stick. So now we're gonna put our sausage in there. And we're going to brown this up, cook it thoroughly before we add the other ingredients. Our sausage is browning nicely now. And for your sausage, you could use either a nice mild sausage, like a sweet sausage, or if you love living life a little bit on the spicier side, you can use a nice spicy Italian sausage. This is just a nice local uh, ground sausage that we have here in Sicily that we really love. In our other videos, we explained to you that those big white chunks that you see in our sausage, like this one, is actually some cheese, so. It smells so good. It just makes it really tasty when we make our stuffing. It's starting to look really good, huh? Isn't it? You know what I love about this stuffing? What? Is that it goes with almost any meat. That's true. So you can stuff chicken, turkey with this. Um, you could also make stuffed pork chops with this. Mm -hmm. It's just really, really versatile. And, and also too, it's yummy as a side by itself. Yeah, I was just gonna ask that. Is it something that has to be stuffed or is it good on its own? So that's good to know. Yeah. As you can see, it's getting there. So it's nice and brown, but now we wanna crisp it up a little, dry it up a little bit, and then we will saute our vegetables. Okay. So now we can see the, the sausage is nicely cooked right through. So we're going to take this out, we're gonna put it aside, and now we're going to start sauteing our vegetables.
So the mixture is finished and we already transferred it into the mixing bowl. And now we're going to slowly add in our cubed bread. And you can use really any bread you want. Today we used uh, whole grain uh, bread, trying to be a little bit healthier for this type of recipe. And you just slowly stir this in. You can add, you can add. I think this will take all of it nicely. Grab the other spoon so we can be more efficient at tossing this. Looks and smells so good already. Does that look good? Yum. Look at all those flavors and colors. And if you want, what I like to do, if you want a little sweetness to it, a little tang, is you can add some cran raisins. So I'm going to sprinkle some of those in. Or cranberries, right? Or dried cranberries. Yeah. Either way. Whatever you want to call them. Cranberries or raisins, whatever you want. Doesn't that look yummy? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Again, I wish we had smell-o-vision for them. Mm, yum. So now that we've mixed in everything, we can transfer it to our casserole dish. Now remember, you can stuff your chicken, your turkey with this if you'd like, or if you want to do stuffed pork chops or chicken breasts, but you can also serve as a side. And so if you want to do that, you can do a casserole dish like this. A lot of people like doing this because on the top, you get a lot of that nice crunchy yumminess that everyone loves to eat with mashed potatoes and the other sides that you're going to be preparing. So. And two, I like this way because it cooks nice and even and you don't have to worry about the chicken or the meat being done. So now that we transferred it into the casserole dish, we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees and we're gonna get it nice and caramelized and crunchy on the top. All right, so this just came out of the oven. As you can see, it's still bubbling and oh my goodness, it smells and looks so good. So depending on your oven and what size container you use, it will depend on how long it cooks for. Basically, all the ingredients were already cooked. You just want to get that really nice, golden, crispy, luscious crust. So for us, at our elevation, it took an hour. But for you, it might take less. So just keep an eye on it. But, but you know, but, I, I think my Nona would be very proud of us. I think so. Mm -hmm. I it think looks so. very good. Mm. Once it cools down a little bit, we'll try it. But right now, it's still bubbling. So, but yeah. So we, we'll, we don't want to pop like this because we burn our tongue. <laughs> no, we don't. All right. So we'll try it a little bit. But for now, we'll put the recipe down below. But please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. Yes. And ciao, ciao for now. Ciao for now. Let's see how, if this tastes as good as it looks. I think it will. Mm. You're so confident, huh, Victoria? Well, it smells so good. Let's mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Nana would be proud. Mm -hmm. Really good. Great flavors and nice crushy coating on top. Mm. You know, the thing is, you can eat this by itself. <laughs> you realize this isn't your personal plate, right? I know. Okay. <laughs> It's really good.